name is Sports from Anne-Marie Burke. The Barbados team remains focused on doing the basics against Jamaica this weekend. That's performing with both bat and ball. The two teams will meet in the semifinals of the knockout round at Kensington Oval starting tomorrow, with the Bajans aiming for a chance at their third trophy this season. Barbados head coach Henderson Springer wants the team to keep up the good work. To me, it is a, basically a different part of the season. You've got four teams who I believe are motivated to come to the top of your class at the end of April. Going into uh, this weekend in particular, any strategies, any ideas of how we, you've got to play them or are you looking to repeat a similar performance? Looking to repeat, but the main strategy would, would be not to be complacent. We played really well against them in Jamaica, um, um, beat them really badly, yes, but that doesn't say they've got renewed vigor. They've been beaten a couple of times this season and I think that they would see it as an opportunity for them you know, to take something from this season that has gone on, some, in some cases, a bit too long for certain teams. Springer, who is one of the most successful Barbados coaches, says he's already looking at the bigger picture, getting more players into the West Indies team. We've got a number of players at this point of time, in time who have represented the West Indies before. Ashley Nurse, Carlos Brathwick, they've done it before. Solomon Ben, to me, he's done it in his little time that he was there. He did really, really well. Craig Brathwick, Kirk Edwards as well, too. I look forward to more guys you know, making the debuts at all levels, whether it be 2020, whether it be 50 over cricket, whether it be test match, whatever the case may be. I know those, looking for those guys making their debuts off of the work that they've done at regional level and using that opportunity to push themselves and their career forward. And Captain Craig Brathwaite is also hoping to register an elusive 100. Got 390, so really looking to get a get big 100. Uh, I mean, that's that, that just about it. I mean, both his semi and go, hopefully the final, looking for something big and the season strong. But I think it's important that, you know, you just back and relax about the same way. And that's probably where I've been falling down. But I mean, I've I've learned because it also is a learning lesson as well, and just go there and just relax and to get some base scores. Meanwhile, the Jamaica cricket team is also confident ahead of the semi-finals for the WACB Headley Weeks Trophy. The Jamaicans have made one change to their squad ahead of this weekend's semi-final against the Barbadians. Dave Bernard Jr. has replaced John Ross Campbell. The two teams met early in the season with the Bajans gaining the upper hand and Jamaican captain Tamar Lambert knows it will be a tough assignment against them, especially on home turf. They have been batting well from season. Um, Kerry Crudgers and, and their captain, um, Bradwood, have been giving, them, giving the team a very good start. You know? So obviously we, we want to pick up um, early wickets with the new ball and try and get into their batting. Um, Barbados have been playing some good, good cricket from season. There's, there's, there's no doubt. That's why they are the champion in the four-year competition. As I said before, you know, it's, it's a brand new day on Saturday and hopefully the team that start the best and play the cricket over the four, to, um, four days will come out on top. Along with fast bowler Sheldon Cottrell, the fit again Jerome Taylor is looking to bring pace like fire to the game. Playing against Barbados is always a competitive game for us. Um, we have played against them before in the season already and um, I think the game was somewhat competitive and um, we're looking forward to come back, bounce back from the game that we had and um, hopefully we can put a better showing of ourselves and um, I think you guys are upbeat about it, playing against Barbados again at home. I know they're going to be under more pressure than we are, so we're looking to go out there and capitalize on the situation. Standing in the way of the Jamaicans making it to the showdown for the Headley Weeks trophy are the Barbadians, and the battle begins on Saturday. And live coverage of that semi final will be on Radio 94.7 FM. The other semi is between Trinidad and the Windwards. Dwayne Smith's Chennai Super Kings lost a high-scoring opener in the 2014 IPL today against the Kings 11 Punjab. Scores Chennai 205 for 4 in 20 overs, with Smith getting 67. Punjab made 206 for 4 in 18.5 to win by 6 wickets. Glenn Maxwell had a knock of 95. And in the other game, Darren Sami's Sunrisers Hyderabad also lost to the Rajasthan Royals. They did so by 4 wickets. Scores Sunrisers 133 for 6, the Royals 135 for 6 in 19.3 overs.